the search for advanced life is never ending. Although scientists have said that we need to look to the stars to find advanced life, there's many that have suggested that we've been looking in the wrong place, and that all this time it might have been right in front of us. There's various locations that have been put forward that could hold proof of advanced life. These include old archaeological sites, but the most recent one that's caught people's attention is that of Antarctica. It's one of the least explored places on Earth. Only a few people live here, but despite this, many interesting discoveries have been made in recent years. It's no secret that officials are interested in Antarctica. In fact, countless experiments have been conducted here since man first set foot on the icy continent, and many of them have advanced our knowledge. The most recent discoveries that are doing the rounds on social media though are those that can't be so easily explained. Amateur researchers have said that across Antarctica there's various places that are starting to melt, and that this melting ice is revealing strange looking structures hiding underneath. It's important to note that scientists and researchers have said that there's nothing of interest in Antarctica, and that the majority of these discoveries can be explained using natural explanations, but that hasn't stopped some from spending hours looking through old images of Antarctica, and also using applications like Google Earth in order to find mysterious out-of-place looking structures. The most recent discovery was this one which was found by an unknown user who suggested that it showed something being revealed from the frozen eyes. The photographs got various reactions from those who saw them, with some labelling this object as a large ship, while others said it looks like the remains of an ancient city, and that it could be proof that ancient humans made it here and started building large structures. One person said the following about the discovery, if you showed someone this image and didn't tell them any context behind it, they would likely say that it looks like a building or a crash boat, or possibly a ship of some sort. You can see what looks like towers and levels inside it. I find it interesting that when you say things like this were found in Antarctica, it automatically causes people to brush it aside. Science is all about learning and correcting ourselves about the history of our planet, why couldn't this be something like a building or a ship? We need to be more open-minded about this kind of stuff. End quote. Others carried on from this and said this isn't the first time that we've found something strange in Antarctica, while others said that many of the discoveries that are found here are blurry, but in the case of this one you can actually make out a lot of detail. Others went down a different route, and suggested that during certain periods in history, some countries travelled to faraway regions to construct buildings, so they would have an advantage over the enemy. Some said this could have been constructed by humans when people first started travelling here. Skeptics have said these types of discoveries are not uncommon, and what people are looking at is just gaps in the snow, saying that when the surrounding ice melts it gives off the illusion that something is underneath it, when in reality all you're looking at is rocks. This isn't the only recent discovery that's been made in Antarctica. Scientists have recently reported that a massive object that could change our understanding of history is hidden beneath the Antarctic ice. This mysterious anomaly is believed to be underneath an area called Wilkesland. The area is over 150 miles across, and has a minimum depth of around 2,500 feet. Interestingly, researchers have suggested that it could be the remains of a giant asteroid, and if this is the case, it would have been more than twice the size of the asteroid that struck Mexico 66 million years ago. This could help to answer one of the planet's most mysterious events. During the Permian Triassic, a massive extinction event happened. It caused over 96% of Earth's sea creatures and over 70% of the vertebrate organisms living on land to perish. This giant rock could have been behind that event. This mysterious anomaly was first brought to the attention of researchers in 2006, and this was when NASA's satellites picked up on gravitational changes. Another announcement was made a few years back, when scientists reported that they managed to reach a subglacial lake which was under Antarctica. 
this lake was over 3,000 feet below the surface of the ice. The subglacial Antarctic lake's scientific access said the following. It's almost two whole days of drilling to reach the subglacial lake during this holiday season. We had a huge team with us, and it wouldn't have been possible without them. The team of researchers included over 40 scientists, drillers and various other staff members. The researchers were able to see a glimpse of the giant subglacial body of water, and it's estimated that it's twice the size of Manhattan. The researchers are currently studying the lake and hope to understand its depth, temperatures and what kind of life is down there. Due to it being a remote place, some have said that there could be creatures down there unknown to science. One of the chief scientists said they weren't sure of what to expect, as it's such a new discovery, and they were still learning as they went along. Although this sounds like an easy task, it's not just a matter of digging a hole. There's specific steps that need to happen for this to work. For example, scientists needed to test that the water was clean. When they did though, they were surprised to learn that the water was as clean as filtered water. One of the scientists on the mission said the following, It's exciting that we are sampling the deepest standing water body humans have ever accessed beneath Antarctica. This is a slow process though, and it will take years to collect and process the data. Humans and chimps share 98.8% of their DNA. They are our closest relatives, and we share more DNA with them than any other great ape. Researchers have just announced that an all-out tour has been observed between a group of chimpanzees and gorillas. Something that's quite surprising is these two groups have never been seen doing this before. It's a first, and something that researchers have said is that it's really sad. The incident happened in the Luongo National Park back in 2019, with the study going on to report that it happened more than once. Those who were close by when it happened reported that it was the chimpanzees who first attacked, saying that they outnumbered the gorillas. Researchers who gathered data from the attack said that it was strange that this happened, and that they're working to get to the bottom of why both the chimps and gorillas were much more aggressive than normal. Both times an infant gorilla passed away due to injuries. A new study that's looking at the fighting between the two is being carried out by researchers who are on the scene, with them saying that although the aggression is strange, and that it hasn't been seen before, they have some theories for why this may have happened, which include the two groups being territorial, or competing for food sources. Tobias Densher from the Max Planck Institute for Evolutionary Anthropology in Germany said the following, Our observations provide the first evidence that the presence of chimpanzees can have a lethal impact on gorillas. We now want to investigate the factors triggering these surprisingly aggressive interactions. End quote. We are constantly learning more and more about chimpanzees, but one thing that researchers have noticed is that when pushed they can be very aggressive, and will even take on humans if they stand in their way. This has been demonstrated in areas around Uganda, which are losing their habitat, and some wildlife experts have said that the chimpanzees know who is responsible. They've observed humans pulling down the local forests, and they've said that it's angered the chimps so much that they've decided to spark a conflict between humans and apes. The researchers observing the chimps have said that it's almost as if they've had enough, and that they've been observed watching humans from a distance while they tear down the forest. One of the first incidents was recorded when the chimps were seen near the forest, and heading towards the nearby crops. Due to their habitat loss, the chimps were able to come much closer to the edge of the forest, and see where the humans would return. Scouts were then said to follow some of the humans back, and this is where they found the nearby crops. Once they found this, the group was called in and they started to raid the area. The group were able to take plenty of crops for themselves, and even attacked the humans. This bold move was successful, and it only gave the chimps more confidence. 
This, along with other traits, has made experts put forward the theory that chimps won't back down from a conflict, especially if they know that they're getting something out of it. The incident in Luwango happened back in February of 2019, and it involved a group of 18 chimpanzees and 5 gorillas. The incident happened when the two were passing into each other's territories, with the battle lasting just under an hour. The next meeting between the two groups happened in December 2019, and it lasted an hour and 20 minutes. This happened because a chimpanzee encountered a gorilla while it was doing a border patrol. Those who witnessed the event said that because the chimps outnumbered the gorillas, they were able to separate an adult female gorilla from its infant, which eventually led to it losing its life. The other gorillas were able to retreat, but it's noted that the chimpanzees did also sustain various injuries. The wildlife experts said it was sad to see the two groups fight, and that as of right now they're working to better understand what could have caused this encounter to escalate. Tobias said the following, It could be that sharing of food resources by chimpanzees, gorillas and forest elephants in the Loango National Park resulted in increased competition and sometimes even in lethal interactions between the two great ape species. Simon Picker from Germany said the following, We are only at the beginning to understand the effects of the competition on interactions between the two great ape species. Our study shows that there is still a lot to explore and discover about our closest living relatives, and that Loango National Park with its unique mosaic habitat is a unique place to do so. End quote. The research on the two groups was published in scientific reports. The battle between a silverback gorilla and a chimpanzee would normally go one way, and that would be in favour of the large silverback gorilla. Gorillas are also the world's largest primates, but working out how strong they are is difficult. Many sites report that a gorilla can lift from 4 to 30 tons their body weight, but wildlife experts have said this number is closer to 10 to 15 tons their body weight. They also have one of the strongest bite forces in the animal kingdom, but this doesn't come down to their teeth, but rather the massive neck muscles. The average weight of a gorilla is 140 kilograms, but they can weigh up to 267. When compared to that of an adult lion, it's estimated that a silverback gorilla is over four times as strong. Its bite force is also twice that of a lion's. The difference between a chimpanzee and a gorilla is that the much larger gorilla is actually much more calm, and the chimp is much more unpredictable. Gorillas have shown great sophistication when they're in the wild, but chimps seem to be more intelligent. The researchers have said that it's likely that this battle in the Loango National Park will continue all the time the two groups are encountering each other. One of humanity's greatest achievements is touching down on the moon. Apollo 11 will go down in history as a turning point for space exploration. No longer were humans bound to planet Earth. Our greatest minds had found a way to place us on Earth's only natural satellite. With it came many questions. What happens next? Will humans build outposts on the moon? Will we travel to regions further out into the solar system? As of right now, the next location that's in the scope of space agencies is that of Mars with leaders in space exploration saying that they hope to land here within the next 10 years. Although most accept that the moon landing is one of our greatest achievements, there is many that have come to question the mission. NASA said the following on their website, Apollo 11 blasted off on July 16th, 1969. Neil Armstrong, Edwin Buzz Aldrin and Michael Collins were the astronauts on Apollo 11. Four days later, Armstrong and Aldrin landed on the moon. They landed on the moon in the lunar module. It was called the Eagle. Collins stayed in orbit around the moon. He did experiments and took pictures. On July 20th, 1969, Neil Armstrong became the first human to step on the moon. He and Aldrin walked around for three hours. 
they did experiments. They picked up bits of moon dirt and rocks. End quote. Some viewers noticed that while watching the moon landing, it looks as though two videos are taking place. A backdrop of the moon, and then the astronaut, saying that during certain parts it looks like the astronaut is transparent. Many theorists have then gone on to question why this is, and that perhaps there's details that we're not being told about. One viewer said the following about this. Has anyone noticed that when the astronaut goes down the ladder, he appears see-through? For years now, there's been speculation that the moon missions were somehow manipulated to make it appear that the astronauts were walking on the moon when in fact they weren't. Obviously, NASA and other space agencies have denied this, saying that the majority of these situations have an easy explanation. But regardless, it hasn't stopped people from sharing their views about what they think happened during the missions. In the case of the transparent astronaut though, users were quick to provide an explanation, with one person simply putting that the main reason they appear see-through is because of poor equipment. Another carried on with the following. I can understand why people believe in this theory. After all, it's one of the ones that's actually backed up. It does look like there's a transparent astronaut on the moon. Basically, what we're seeing here is an image lag. This lag can make it appear as though the image, or in this case a person, is semi-transparent. Once the original signal reached Earth, and was displayed on screens, those also had a lag, which then resulted in the effect seen in the videos. So no, there wasn't a transparent astronaut on the moon. Old equipment was to blame for this. It's important to highlight these explanations. But as some have pointed out, there's still some genuine mystery surrounding that of the Apollo missions. Going back a while ago, a strange anomaly was picked up by eagle-eyed viewers, who were searching through archived footage of Apollo 11. The photograph in question is that of the moon. However, when people zoomed in, they could see what looked like an object hovering above the moon. The photograph has earned itself the name of Breakoff as some have suggested that a piece of the moon somehow broke off when the photograph was being taken. What's strange though is a second photograph was taken shortly afterwards, and it doesn't show the anomaly, and this has led to some to suggest more out there theories. The original photograph was sent to NASA by some amateur astronomers, in the hopes of getting to the bottom of what this object is. However, NASA couldn't provide an answer for what the photograph shows, Officials have also been vocal about the possibilities of these objects being that of unidentified flying objects. Going back, the former head of a secret government program, whose task it was to investigate UFO sightings, came forward with some bold claims. They told several media outlets that extraterrestrial life may exist, and further said that millions of dollars have been put into the research of exotic technologies affiliated with unidentified aerial phenomena, and that the United States has been tracking these unidentified flying objects for years now, and that as of right now we have nothing on our planets that is able to keep up with them, and do the things that they do, saying that not only are we helpless if things ever go south, but that we can't even get close to them in order to study what they are, and better understand how they're able to achieve the things they do. These headlines caught the attention of many around the world, as for the last 80 years people have been coming forward with their encounters, saying that some of these crafts are able to travel at tens of thousands of miles per hour. It's only been in recent years that the UFO has been linked to extraterrestrial entities. With that being said, the thought of planet Earth being visited by another life form is exciting for some. Others have said that if you're going to believe any reports of UFOs, you might as well trust those coming from the people who have actually been to space. The list of those who have made claims of sightings includes Edgar Mitchell, Caddy Coleman and Dr. Brian O'Leary. Buzz Aldrin also spoke of his own experience while on board the Apollo 11, when they saw something mysterious flying alongside them. At first they thought it was the final stage of the detached rocket, until Mission Control confirmed it was over 6,000 miles away.
So what do you make of these claims? And do you think there is a presence of super-intelligent crafts on our planet? If so, what do you think they are? And who do you think they belong to? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.